There it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. There it is. I seen him follow it. There it is. We got him. We got him. Oh, that's a pig. Oh my God. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Outdoor Junkies and we're going to be heading over to my PB pond today just because I had a dream last night that I caught a nine pounder man. I'm going to go ahead and try to follow my dreams today and go see if we can go smash a nine pounder out of my PB pond. Another thing I want to bring up as well, we're going to be catching fish out of one pond and put them in the smaller pond just because of the fact that I could fish that pond without getting kicked out. So for some reason, there was a bunch of bass in there. I used to catch big monster bass out of this little puddle. I think they're either died off or they kind of made their way down the waterfall. So today we're going to stock up that pond. We're going to be throwing some Guggen baits out today. Not sure exactly what I'm going to be throwing, but I got a bunch of new Guggen baits. So I, I figured to go ahead and toss them out and see if we can catch them on some crankbaits, on some saucy swimmers and uh, some jigs. And I also bought some swim jigs. So we're gonna be throwing out those baits today. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that notification bell. I upload videos every single Friday. And if you guys do like this kind of content, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Let's go make our way to the pond right now, guys, because I am super hyped. And uh, let's lace up. I'll see you guys out there. What is up guys we just got to the pond i'm actually going to try out this pond here first uh this is the pond i used to catch a lot of big bass in but for some reason i just weren't i had just haven't been catching here lately um a lot of that reason probably because of that waterfall i think a lot of those uh bass are escaping and uh today's plan is really i want to fish this for a little bit and then i'm going to stock this pond with bass from the other pond there today we're going to be throwing the uh guggen bait uh square build banger and uh guys this is an awesome bait it's got a great rattle in it and i love the color and one of my favorite things about this crankbait itself is how it has the def on there which is awesome so we're going to try this guy out and uh we're going to start off the morning with this guy and i got a couple other guggen baits that we're going to be trying so let's go ahead and toss this dude out this spot right here guys i swear i used to catch some of my biggest pigs so my goal is to start catching pigs out of here again There it is. That's a good one. Second cast. Wow. Oh, wow. We got to be careful here. He is barely hooked. We don't need a hook in the hand. There we go. There's the first one of the morning. Hell yeah. Nice bass solid solid all right wow that water is so cold the one thing today guys is beautiful day it's like 75 degrees out uh, but the water is still cold obviously from all these cold fronts but uh awesome we caught our first one in this in my favorite puddle seems like they're like in a slower retreat so far There it is. Oh my God. Oh my God. I seen him follow it. Oh my God. Yes. That's a good bass, guys. That's a good bass. Oh my God. Wow. What an awesome strike that was. What an awesome strike. Come here, big boy. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. It's okay, big boy. Oh yes. They're getting bigger, boys. Oh my God, guys. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but that bait just fell out of his mouth he was barely hooked getting bigger solid three pounder right there solid three pounder oh my god that's so awesome all right my boy i'll catch you later see you buddy guys that's two fish right off the hole 
Let's throw a couple more casts here and then we'll move down a little bit. And we'll see if we can catch something. There it is. There's another one. Nice. There's another one, gentlemen, on the crankbait. So we've caught three so far. Great way to start off the morning, to say the least. Hell yeah, boy. That's three we caught on the square build. Now we're gonna switch up our bait. Awesome. This is the Guggenbait quarter ounce swim jig and we're going to try this guy out. One of my favorite ways to catch fish. The one thing with the Guggenbaits they all have, look at their eyes. I don't know if you guys can see their eyes so good. I mean that is some beautiful quality on the eyes. I love that. My favorite way to catch fish is on these swim jigs. And this profile is a little smaller so it makes it really nice this time of year. Let's throw out a couple casts with this guy and see if we can catch some more in this little puddle. It's on. It came off. Oh my god. We got him. We got him. Oh, that's a pig. That's a pig, guys. Oh my God. We got a monster on, guys. Look at the size of this pig. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Crank that thing. Oh my God. Don't come off, boy. Don't come off, bubs. Oh, he's all hooked, all crazy. I'm not about to try to get my damn hand hooked. All right, let's get this guy out. Let's be safe. Oh my God, he's a toad. He is a toad. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Oh my god, we are busting out the scale on him. Wow. Wow. Look at this dude, bro. Look at this dude. This dude is fat. Look at this dude's belly. Look how big he is, dude. Look how big he is. Look how big he is, dude. That is a solid monster. Let's bust the scale out. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. 